Ether, chapter 4. And the Lord commanded the brother of Jared to go down out of the mount from the presence of the Lord and write the things which he had seen. And they were forbidden to come unto the children of men until after that he should be lifted up upon the cross. And for this cause did King Mosiah keep them that they should not come unto the world until after Christ should show himself unto his people. And after Christ truly had showed himself unto his people, he commanded that they should be made manifest. And now, after that, they have all dwindled in unbelief, and there is none, save it be the Lamanites, and they have rejected the gospel of Christ. Therefore, I am commanded that I should hide them up again in the earth. Behold, I have written upon these plates the very things which the brother of Jared saw, and there never were greater things made manifest than those which were manifest to the brother of Jared. Wherefore, the Lord hath commanded me to write them, and I have written them. And he commanded me that I should seal them up, and he also hath commanded that I should seal up the interpretation thereof. Wherefore, I have sealed up the interpreters according to the commandment of the Lord. For the Lord said unto me, They shall not go forth unto the Gentiles until the day that they shall repent of their iniquity and become clean before the Lord. And in that day shall they exercise faith in me, saith the Lord, even as the brother of Jared did, that they may become sanctified in me. Then will I manifest unto them the things which the brother of Jared saw, even to the unfolding unto them all my revelations, saith Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of the heavens, and of the earth, and of all things that in them are. And he that will contend against the word of the Lord, let him be accursed. And he that shall deny these things, let him be accursed. For unto them will I show no greater thing, saith Jesus Christ. For I am he who speaketh, and at my command the heavens are opened and are shut, and at my word the earth shall shake, and at my command the inhabitants thereof shall pass away, even so as by fire. And he that believeth not my words believeth not my disciples, and if it so be that I do not speak, judge ye, for ye shall know that it is I that speaketh at the last day. But he that believeth these things, which I have spoken, him will I visit with the manifestations of my spirit. And he shall know and bear record, for because of my spirit, he shall know that these things are true. For it persuadeth men to do good. And whatsoever thing persuadeth men to do good is of me. For good cometh of none, save it be of me. I am the same that leadeth men to do all good. He that will not believe my words will not believe me, that I am. And he that will not believe me will not believe the Father who sent me. For behold, I am the Father. I am the light and the life and the truth of the world. Come unto me, O ye Gentiles, and I will show unto you the greater things, the knowledge which is hid up because of unbelief. Come unto me, O ye house of Israel, and it shall be made manifest unto you how great things the Father hath laid up for you from the foundation of the world, and it hath not come unto you because of unbelief. Behold, when ye shall rend that veil of unbelief which doth cause you to remain in your awful state of wickedness and hardness of heart and blindness of mind, then shall the great and marvellous things which have been hid up from the foundation of the world, from you, yea, when ye shall call upon the Father in my name, with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, then shall ye know that the Father hath remembered the covenant which he made unto your fathers, O house of Israel. And then shall my revelations, which I have caused to be written by my servant John, be unfolded in the eyes of all the people. Remember, when ye see these things, ye shall know that the time is at hand, that they shall be made manifest in very deed. Therefore, when ye shall receive this record, ye may know 
that the work of the Father hath commenced upon all the face of the land. Therefore, repent, all ye ends of the earth, and come unto me, and believe in my gospel, and be baptised in my name. For he that believeth and is baptised shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And signs shall follow them that believe in my name. And blessed is he that is found faithful unto my name at the last day. For he shall be lifted up to dwell in the kingdom prepared for him from the foundation of the world. And behold, it is I that have spoken it. Amen.